What's going on guys? Justin Williams here. Brain surgery. You know, they told me it'd be several weeks before I was able to have the strength to get back on my feet and get moving. And I prayed and asked God to give me strength and restore my energy. And he did. And I felt like 100% the last four or five days. And I got up on stage at church yesterday and praised God and worshiped it big time. And I just felt confident that the brain, brain cancer was gone because they removed all of the tumor. Um, and they, uh, they even mentioned something about having 10 years to live if it was a bad situation. So I really thought that was, that was, I still had a great future ahead of me. Um, unfortunately they uh, called me today and said that I have grade four brain cancer and I'll, I'll listen, list the uh, type. It's the most severe brain tumor, brain cancer that you can get the most severe. And uh, I looked at some statistics. They told me I had an average was eight to 12 months to live. And the max, um, if I went through heavy chemo and radiation treatment was going to be 15 months, no matter what, that was the max. Um, but I did look at some statistics and there's, uh, um, the average, I think it was the average person was only making it three or four months. And so they, they, they think because I'm younger that I'm at least going to get eight to 12, which is good. Cause that means I get to spend time with my family. Um, and 15 months would be cool too. You know, that's, that's a little over a year. And so I did read there's some statistics that 5% uh, have lived up to five years. And so that would be even awesomer. Um, but I'm going to praise God no matter what. The thing is, is my son, I love him to death. He is such a great leader. And he looked at me, Dad, and he said, Dad, Jesus only lived to be in his mid-30s. He spent his whole life on this earth pouring into people, and you did the same thing. And I'm no Jesus. I'm a broken, jacked-up sinner just as like anybody else. But the fact that God led me and used me for the last 35 years, I praise God. And so I know that this is so hard for some of you. I had over... Over a thousand people watch my uh, my brain cancer, brain tumor healing video, and I still believe that God is capable of healing me. And I still believe, no matter what you're going through, or what you're struggling, or what you're suffering, that God can still restore you, that God can still move in you, and God can continue to change your world, man. And so I want to encourage you. No matter what you're facing, no matter what your challenge is, no matter what your heartache is, lean on God. Trust in Him. Drive your spirit and your heart and focus on Him, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Jesus came and He died for our sins so that we might be saved. And I promise you guys, no matter what you're going through, there is still hope. And I may have six months to live. I may die tomorrow, but I know 100% that God is real. I know 100% that Jesus, Jesus came and died so that you might be saved. And I promise you, I promise you, God loves you. I love you. I can't thank you enough. My greatest concern right now is for my daughter. She's young. Please, God, please pray pray for her that she will stay strong in the midst of the suffering, strong in the midst of the loss, because I love her and I pour into her all the time. I want to make sure she doesn't reject God as she grows older. And my son, I know he believes in God and I'm pumped and excited for him. And I know, man, my prayer right now is that God calls him into ministry. That's my prayer. He may not want to be a minister, but right now I'm praying God calls him into ministry and he, he's next level like Francis Chan or something like that, witnessing and sharing the gospel with people. Man, that's my prayer for him. He's, he's, he's amazing. My wife, Katie, she is a woman out of this world. And she may not like it, but I told her when I'm dead and gone here for the next five years or whatever, she needs to get a perfect man in her life and she deserves it. And so don't be hitting on my wife, though. Got it? <laughs> Wait till she's five or ten years from down the road from now, and you, and you better dig on will be a godly man. Uh, but anyways, I love you guys. My, my greatest struggle right now, too, is financially she's going to be crippled. 
this stupid thing is going to wipe her out like crazy because the the double surgery already bumped it up twice and we have Christian Healthcare Ministries which will cover a little bit of it but it's going to wipe it out. So if you're a person of financial st support, stability and you're good financially, um your gifts would mean the world to me and it would I'm not going to be alive to even use it. So I don't person I don't need the money. I don't care. But my wife and my family is going to be hurting bad. And I, I need your support. And uh, the last thing I want to challenge you guys to do is I'm going to be posting some YouTube videos on um, my my channel. And uh, I'm going to call it Axis Off Grid because I'm going to spend the next 6 to 8, 12 months, however long life I have left, and I'm going to do devotionals. I'm going to share my faith. I'm going to, if I get the strength, I'm going to go out and uh, do a, uh, I'm going to go out and do some survival videos. I do have six principles of survival on my Sigma 3 channel. So uh, if you, if you want, go on to Sigma 3's YouTube channel and search six principles of survival or my Dirt Time Adventures channel. Got the six principles of survival. Get on there, go watch them. It's some of the best survival training you're going to get on YouTube. I promise you, they're free. I probably could have made a DVD out of them and sold it, but um, I don't. I've never cared about making money. I've never cared, and so those are awesome DVD or videos on survival. Though um, I got three parts left to my survival series, and if God gives me the strength, I want to finish those two. And those are on my Axis Off Grid YouTube channel. Um, Feel free to send me any comments or questions. Um, just, uh, man, God is good, guys. Praise him. Trust in him. Seek his face. And I want to encourage you, get into the word of God and get into a church because my church rocks. And if you're in the Springfield area, Venture Church is the place to be. We're going to praise God no matter what, no matter the storm, no matter the midst. I'm telling you, God's got great things still in store for your life. All right, I love you. Thank you so much. And one of my prayers is I think this summer, if I have it in me, I want to have a gathering, a camp out. And I would love for every stinking one of you to come and camp and see me before I die. I love you. Praise God. To him be the glory. Every day is precious and every day is a miracle. So you love your family, you love your wives, you love your husbands, you love your kids, and you cherish them every ounce of your spirit and soul. And you praise God no matter what. And you trust in him and you lean on him no matter what. And when you do, when your time is up, you're going to be before God, and I can't wait to be able to, to come before God. I'm going to bow. I'm going to praise Him. I'm going to worship Him like never before. And whenever Katie gets old and passes away and comes before me again, I can't wait to love on her and hold her and be able to thank God for putting her in my life. God is good. Great things are going to happen in your life. You got to trust and cling to him in Jesus' name. God bless you. And once again, please consider supporting my family, my wife, financially with GoFundMe below. Or you can send money via PayPal. Send it friends and family to justinwilliamsmail at gmail.com. And guess what? God's going to bless. God's going to provide. And I'm going to praise him no matter what. So, till next time, the question mark scar, how much longer do I got to live? Either way, I'm going to praise him and worship it up. I'm going to show you one last thing before I go. And this is something I did back in the day, and I put it up this morning because I thought it would be awesome. This is a painting I did, a painting I did, and I just want you guys to remember, it's all about Jesus. God bless you. Till next time, be praying for me. And keep your head up and stay positive.